God. All right, boys and girls. Scotty the Redneck Canadian here. Uh, welcome to Scotty's Homestead University, my uh, new YouTube channel where I try not to swear and uh, offend liberals. And uh, today I shouldn't have a hard time not offending liberals because I'm going to do a little instructional video on this Nano RO unit. A friend of mine in Minnesota bought this same unit um, after seeing a couple of my videos and Facebook posts. And, uh, you know, he made a comment and I, I agreed with him when I bought it. Um, they don't really show you how to use the darn thing. So that's what we're going to do today. So anyways, this is the Nano RO with the three, three membranes. Okay. It takes, oops, it takes about, uh, 12 gallons of water an hour out. If you run it at a hundred, it says not to run it past 125. I try to run it at a hundred. Um, and it's capable of taking it down, uh, 60%. So 12 gallons an hour, 60%. Don't try to run it past 60% because what happens is your membranes fill with a bunch of crap and then you're gonna end up having to run your permeate through it. So um, the key to this is volume. So right now we just went out and collected sap. There's 400 liters in this tote, which is 105.65, I think it was, gallons. So this is gonna RO down to about 42 gallons. So when I calculate that out at 12 gallons an hour, um, I'm removing 60, 62 gallons of water. That's gonna be about five hours and 15 minutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this here, which is the line that goes to your pump. Okay, this is your input. So we're gonna put that in there, okay? You're gonna take your water line and you're gonna run that uh, in my case, I got a hole in the wall here that I drilled that I just stick it out. But just for demonstration purposes here, we're going to put it in this bucket. Okay. And this is your, your water line. So this is, you're going to want to save your RO water because for whatever reason, it's, we call it magic water. It makes your stainless steel gleam. We make ice with it in the ice maker. The kids take it over pop because it's like really good tasting water. Anyway, so you want to you want to save. I try to save about 200 gallons of uh, RO, RO water to use with, over the summer. But you're definitely going to want to save it. And then another thing that it's good for is if you overcook your syrup. So we went a little bit far today on this evaporator, and it was like 76 when we got done. So we added the RO water back into it and got it to exactly 66.6. .6. So and then what we're going to do here, this is your output, which goes on to this right here, okay? Make sure you get all of these fittings in all the way, because if you don't, they don't connect and they stay shut and you're going to have a problem. Okay, so this is going right back into the tank. So what's going to happen is we're going to pull this out. It's going to push water through the membranes and go into the bucket and then it's going to recycle the sap okay so when we're done we come back here in five hours and 15 minutes we should be right down to about um, 42 gallons okay so we're going to turn her on and it's going to take a few minutes because it's going to suck the sap up into here okay i run this recirculation pump i just leave that on automatic and leave it so now you can see our pressure's going up, up, up. This here is your output. This is how you change your pressure. Okay. So I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. It's a little bit much. There we go. So that's a. Uh, about 100 PSI right there, okay? And we'll give it a minute and you'll see. There we go. We got a little bit coming out right now. Yeah. Takes a few minutes, but uh, we'll do it. And you wanna make sure that you bring this in every night. There we go. So that's your, your Fresh RO water coming up. Okay. 
Camera girl, uh, Angela, it's a good thing she's good looking. She leaves stuff all over the place. Oh, yeah. Well, that might have been me that left that off, so. Anyway, so that's that's pretty much the basics of how you're gonna use your system, okay? You you need to know your volume. It's not gonna do you any good if you don't know how much sap that you have, okay? And what I do is in the barn, I got a chalkboard, and I write on it every day how much sap we got, how much it ro down to, so that tomorrow I'm gonna add to this when we get sap, and then I'm gonna know how much water that I can take out. So, um, I don't know if you have any questions. I do check my YouTube channel uh, once in a while for comments. Uh, maybe I'll check it a little bit more often. So if you have any questions, let me know, and uh, hopefully that gets you going on your Nano RO system. And I highly recommend this system if you're if you're in the market for it. Uh, I know I could have built one, but uh, whatever. It was worth it. I was in a time crunch last year, and I highly recommend this unit. It's been superb, and I go through literally 60% less firewood. So, all right. Well, till next time, keep your sticks on the ice, eh?